I have few coins in my hand. I have a few coins in my hand. Can you hear the difference? The difference in tone between few and a few? I have little money. I have a little money. Again, can you hear the difference? Can you feel the difference between little and a little? That's what we're going to talk about today. This video is sponsored by DK, and today we're going to use English for Everyone, course book level four, advanced. Let's turn to page 138. Let's talk about few. Few is for small numbers that we can count. There are few rare birds here. We probably won't see any. There are a few rare birds here. We might see one. So using few, few means not many. Listen to the intonation. There are few rare birds here. It has a negative connotation, right? Few, not many, a small number. But few is countable, right? We can count one, two, three, four, like in the first example, I used coins. We can count the number of coins. One, two, three coins. There are few coins. Or, there are a few coins. In both cases, we can count the coins. Here in the book, in both cases, we can count the number of rare birds. But few means not many. A few means some, okay? So when he says, there are a few rare birds, it has a hopeful intonation, right? Hmm, there are few students here tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there are a few students here tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So remember, few or a few, we can count. But the intonation and the feeling is quite different. Again, because few means not many. A few means some. Let's talk about little. Little is for small amounts that are uncountable or non-count nouns. For example, I have little money left. I can't afford to visit the wildlife park. I have a little money left. Should we visit the wildlife park? Okay, so little means not much. A little means some. We're using little here to talk about money, an uncountable or non-count noun, right? I have little money. I have a little money. Okay, we can definitely hear and feel a difference, right? And there are other ways to use few and little for small quantities. For example, there's a little bit of the park we haven't seen yet. Little can be done when few are willing to contribute. Do you think you understand the difference? Let's do some practice together. Let's look at page 139. You're going to tell me, is it little or a little? Or few or a few, right? Let's look at the example. I'm so excited. I've got a few hours to explore the city tonight. You see, only a few is correct there. So you're going to choose one or the other. Okay, let's look at number one. I'm afraid we have 
Little time to catch the train. We must hurry. Number two. That cake is delicious. I'll have a little bit more. Good. Number three. Sadly, there are few examples of this quality of craftsmanship left. Good. Number four. Great. We have a little spare money. Should we go out for dinner? Number five. Wow, look at all these monkeys. I think there are a few different species here. All right, very good. Last one, number six. Unfortunately, I have few friends. It's quite lonely here. Okay, how did you do? Are you understanding the difference between few and a few? Between little and a little? DK's got an entire series of books called English for Everyone, from beginner to intermediate to advanced. It's designed in a simple, smart way to help you learn English fast. It also has reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills. It's presented in a highly visual format, making the grammar and vocabulary easy to remember. English for Everyone is available wherever books are sold. It's also got free audio to go along with the text. So check out dk.com efe. Okay, now it's time for a quiz from Teacher Tom. Are you ready? Look at the bottom of page 139. Okay, we'll do the example together, and then you will do the next five by yourself. Okay, so you'll have to write the answer. Look at the example. There is little water left in the bottle. I'm so thirsty. Okay. Now you try one through five on the bottom of page 139. You can pause the video if you need to. Okay, how did you do? Let's check your answers. Number one. Great, there are a few magazines to choose from. Number two, sadly, there are few fish in my aquarium. Number three, there is very little cake left, I'm afraid. Number four, it should be okay. We have a little time left. Okay, last one, number five. The cafe is closing soon. There are so few customers. Okay, how did you do? I hope you learned a little bit of English today, and I hope you continue to practice with me. I will see you next time.